We started? All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> All to God be the glory. <clears throat> Amen. Welcome back to something celebration. Huh? You oh, because you don't want me to be up here standing by myself. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for his word. We find out daily that the word of God is true. Yes. Amen. And, it, and there's nothing no one can do to change God's word. Amen. God is a good God. I'm not going to be before you long. I just want to want to give you a little word that can help you through this week. We thank God for the service this morning. Amen. Uh, here at uh, Supper Celebration and also at uh, Apostle Richburg Sumter. Uh, God is a good God. He moves in a mighty way. He moves through his word. He speaks through his word. The Bible says that uh, uh, <laughs> faith comes by hearing <laughs> and hearing by the word of God. Amen? Amen. You cannot build your faith any other way than his word. And then he says his word is truth. Yes. It's spirit. It's life. Amen. I don't care what you go through or, or, or how good of a preacher you are, how much you know the word, if you don't have the truth of God, you are not doing it right. You are um, a deceiver. And in the scripture this morning, we read that all the prophets of God, all the false prophets are going to be have their part in the lake of fire and brimstone. They're going to hell. The false teachers are going to hell. And the Bible says, um, woe unto them who know the way and does it not. For they shall be beaten with many stripes. Glory to God. I just have one scripture to read. That's uh, 2 Corinthians. Praise God. The 13th chapter. Just one verse. <sighs> and we're going to go from there. <laughs> Praise God. Lord, we thank you for your truth. We thank you for your word, oh God. We ask that you would hide your word in our heart. That we may not sin against you. Bless your word. Let the people hear, that hear, receive your word. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We praise you. For it's through your word we live. And through that only. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Uh, Thirteen. We know that the word of God is truth, right? Amen. <clears throat> and the church a second. Corinthians, the 13th chapter, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's all I want to talk about. We can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. The devil wants to us to think. Uh, the devil wants Thinks, or he wants people to think that they can fight against God's word. You can't fight against God's word. It's impossible. I mean, Jesus even told uh, Saul, it's hard to kick against the prick. Hey, it's hard to come against God's word. You can't fight against it. His, his word, uh, it'll either make you or break you. You can't uh, take 
a scripture and change it or transform me. There's people that do it all the time. They try to change God's word to make their situations better. <laughs> they have to take, change, take God's word and change it and to make uh, people do what they want them to do. They take God's word and they try to bully people with God's word. But no, when you got the truth on the inside of you, hallelujah, you cannot do anything against God's word. It's in God's word that we find rest, we find peace, we find hope, we find deliverance in God's word. And without God's word, we are out of our minds. We can't find rest. We can't find help. We can't find, because me personally, when, when I, everything seems like everything is falling apart, it's through God's word where I find rest and help and strength and deliverance and, and prosperity. It's through God's word where I can find, hallelujah, I can find faith to get my prayers answered when, 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 oh, hallelujah, when my faith is lacking. <laughs> and I don't believe I can come out. I pick up my Bible and I go through God's word and I start reading scriptures that says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Glory to God. I can read scriptures that says I am the healed of the Lord. I can help to read these scriptures and believe Hallelujah, what I'm reading, and it gives me life. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Now the devil, he uses scripture too. Yes, no. Glory to God. But we have to know the scriptures in us. Now, I've here heard uh, a few sides of the story that say, well, God don't talk to people verbally. They've never heard God speak audibly. <laughs> God is never, I mean, and, and these are pastors talking, like, God don't speak to you out of me. I've never heard God speak to me. My goodness, if you know the word of God, if you, if you take his word and you put it in your heart, God speaks through his word. Oh, glory to God, there's no need to pick up your Bible only when it's time to go to church. Oh my goodness, only when it's time for Bible study in public. But now, you, we need to learn how to pick up God's word all the time. Amen. Those of you who right now on Facebook looking at me, hallelujah, I hope I encourage you to put Facebook down. Not right now, maybe 30 minutes from now. Put, put it down once this is over and go study your Bible. Amen. Learn the truth yourself. Jesus said that you shall know the truth, hallelujah, and the truth shall make you free. Yes. That's why a lot of us is all bound up, because we don't know the truth. Amen. We don't know the truth. That's why we're messed up. We don't know the um, truth about tithe and offering. Yes. Nah, no, no, no. Pastor don't talk about tithe and offering, but he talked about seed. Seed, time, and harvest, uh -huh. which is two different things. Amen. Oh, glory to God. He, he, oh, boy. We need to know the truth. Amen. Glory to God. What's the, the scripture that says, Thy word is truth? Um, It'll come to us like later on. <laughs> Praise God. I think I'll be calling out scriptures in a minute. You just uh, grab them. Okay. And read.
The truth of God is that which is reliable and trusted. Ooh. Listen. In the last three years or so, five years or so, ten years or so, I can say, they have been changing the truth of God, saying that the old way is outdated. <laughs> Listen. The old way or the old time religion, as the, the, the older Christians will say, is, is not outdated. If it has been reliable for centuries, from the time of the apostles walked the earth, up until my grandmama got filled with the Holy Ghost, up until I got filled with the Holy Ghost, if that word was reliable then, uh, hallelujah. The truth of God's word is still reliable now. Amen. There is no difference in God's word. We need to learn how to trust God. Now, the, the, yes, the enemy is a, a conner, a deceiver. He was a liar from the beginning. He, from the beginning, made it out to, or went out to change God's word. Yes, even before the Bible was printed, Satan was changing the words of God. God told uh, Adam not to eat on a tree. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Satan changed the word of God and went to Eve and, and rearranged what God said. Mm -hmm. Y'all see how this God was in trouble from the beginning? Because we, and, and, and it was Adam that knew the word of God and told it to Eve. So Eve knew the word of God second-handed. Oh boy. That's a whole nother note. This is the same sermon. A lot of us saints that go to church every Sunday, listen to the word every day on the radio or whatever, we know the word. You know the word second-handed. You won't pick up your Bible and study it yourself. Huh. Allow God's word, allow him to write it in your heart so that you can understand it. And you will, uh, one of the scriptures says, study to show yourself approved unto God. Amen. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing or accurately interpreting the word of truth. Amen. Quit letting other people con you into making you believe that this scripture says this. And not that. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. If you study the word of God yourself, you will know what holidays you should um, abide by and what holidays you shouldn't. Ooh, that's kind of deep right there. If you study the word of God, you will know what sayings are true and what sayings are not. Amen. Oh yeah, we got a lot of sayings that we be we saying, well, you know what the Bible said? Um... If you take one step, God will make two. <laughs> That's not scripture. Amen. And we got thousands of these. We we go and listen to secondhand doctrine. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. God wants us to get this in us for ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. That first scripture we exposed was John 17, 17. Okay. No, I need to look at it. I might have to go up a few verses. Uh, Okay, not yet. <laughs> I'll let you, you can hold it for a minute. Okay. That which we, that which is reliable and can be trusted, actual facts over against appearance. Ooh. Listen, if you have actual facts, What? Okay, now, you may see this person looking at him, 
with a demon or possessed or, 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 or going through some stuff spiritually and you can see him going through these things but you know God's word is against what you see God's word now is actual facts against what is appearing Oh, hallelujah. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to get, get into God's word and build up our faith. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's look at Mark, the fifth chapter, verse 32 and verse 33. We need to learn how to have correct knowledge and correct doctrine. Uh-huh. And he looked around, Mark 5, 32, 33. And he looked around about to see her. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. Amen. This is the woman with the issue of blood Amen. who came and uh, touched Jesus' garment. A lot of us don't have the truth in us so much that we can't even tell God the truth. <laughs> we can't even admit to our own faults in prayer. To God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, he tells us to confess our fault one to another. Or, 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 or what? Tell God your fault. And he, because he's faithful to forgive, right? Yes. This woman confessed everything to Christ. Told him everything that was going on. Everything that had happened while she touched him, and because she confessed, Jesus says, Your faith has made you whole. Ooh. Yes, yes. If we don't learn how to get our faith out, get build our faith up the way it's supposed to be, hallelujah, we quit, quit running around on everything the preacher says. Uh -uh, yes. Hallelujah, I've been telling churches this forever. Stop believing everything the preacher says. Amen. Amen. Get in your Bible and study it for yourself. Yes. Stop believing what every everything they tell you is not true. Amen. Huh. Yeah, they 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 because they they get in there and they try to con you, con you into doing what they want you to do, into believing what they want you to believe. Oh, you know, if you be faithful, God will bless you. If you yes, that's true. But He did not say if you give the pastor more money. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now he never say that. Now he never say that. Now there's and I know a pastor, and a lot of pastors don't like for me to um be talking about other pastors, but I believe that if you um see what's happening and you use it as an example, it will cease to happen. Amen. <laughs> Because, yeah, we, we, we don't need to be falling in the same mess that everybody else is falling into. But I know a pastor that that, um, that knows every, every scripture in the Bible, he'll take it and turn it around to money. My Lord. <laughs> what, Jesus, what Jesus said, uh, the last thing I heard him preach, he said, Jesus said, um, Store up your treasures in, don't store up your treasures in earthly vessels, but store up your treasures in heaven. This is heaven. <laughs> bring your stuff to heaven. Bring all your treasures to heaven. 
This is not heaven. 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 <laughs> and if I call his name, everybody, <laughs> I'm knowing. My Lord. Because he's a liar. <laughs> and the devil is in him. <laughs> not the truth. The devil is not the truth. Amen. Amen. Oh, boy. Yeah, he get up there and outlined his stage and said, this is heaven. Bring your treasures and throw them at, uh, on, into heaven. My Lord, my Lord. Say, like, what the devil wrote with this man? He's getting bolder and bolder every time I see him. My Lord. Oh, boy. Know the truth. Yes. Don't let the devil make you think you cannot, you cannot uh, tell God what's going on on the inside of you. Don't you know that when you can release Hallelujah. Your, your confess your faults to God. Confess. Get all that stuff out of your heart. Hallelujah. That's where release comes from. That's where peace can come in. Glory to God. You have to admit that you are a sinner. You have to admit that you need help for God to be able to help you. Oh, glory. But if you think you got it all on your own, God's going to back up and say, well, you got it. You got it. You'll never get healed. You'll never get delivered. How in the world could you... Uh, and you can have uh, false hope, the Bible says. False faith. You know you have diabetes and you know you're supposed to be eating the right way. You can't be walking around eating anything you want to eat and be like, okay, God's going to heal me. I, I'm just trusting God. I'm going to go ahead and, and do what I want. What I need to do, go ahead and eat anything I want to eat and, and, and forget any of the medicine the doctor gave me or anything like that. I'm just going to trust God. Now, that is foolish faith. Amen. He said, think soberly. Yes, yes. <laughs> Be diligent. Think soberly. Yes. Oh, boy. Correct knowledge or doctrine in uh, First Timothy the fourth chapter. Every message I'm gonna preach from this pulpit is gonna be holiness. Amen. Sorry, it is. I've been brought up holiness. It's the only religion God ever spoke of. Only denomination God ever spoke of. Holiness. And he said, be ye holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. So, that's my theme for next year. Holiness. Amen. A lot of people ain't gonna like me, but that's all right. Leave your comments and tell me why you don't like me. I'll call you. Believe me, someone did that once before and they really didn't like that I called. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to live right, if you want to make it into heaven, it's holiness. That's scripture that says it. It, didn't have, it never said Baptist or without no one shall see the Lord or Presbyterian or whatever it is you claim it is. It's holiness. For without, no one shall see the Lord. The older Christians will say holiness or a hell. Make up your mind. It's a choice. I'm sorry, I said Timothy. Mm -hmm. uh, First Timothy, the fourth chapter, verse three. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe it, which believe and know the truth. Hmm. Continue. No. What he's saying there, God, God was telling Timothy, all these crazy rules people coming up with, forbidding you to marry Catholics, talking about the priests ain't supposed to get married. Now listen, the Pope ain't supposed to be married, right? Mm -hmm. 
The first, the first pope that they claim is the first pope is Peter. Peter was married. So something ain't right about their truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> if Peter was married, why can't the other popes be married? Ain't no such thing as a pope anyway in the Bible. Amen. Um, Jesus ain't never made God made Peter no pope. They coming up with all these other rules, eating, eating certain things. <laughs> no, you don't eat certain things for religious reasons. You eat certain things because of your health. If you, if you, if your doctor tell you you need to abstain well, from pork. You don't go around telling people God tell you not to eat pork and then begging other people no, don't eat that. It's for you. Amen. Ooh, that's a whole nother thing right there. If God, if, if you are, God tell you to do something, <laughs> pastors, you're not to go and beat up on your people because they're not doing what God told you to do. Amen. Amen. Mm. God told Samson, don't let a razor touch your head. Uh, God told us that the Israelites not to eat certain food. God told uh, uh what's his name? Uh, John the Baptist not to eat certain food, not to wear certain clothes. They, every rule isn't for everybody. Amen. Know the Bible. Amen. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Amen. Amen. Know the truth. Yes. Verse uh, Timothy the second chapter. Second Timothy the second chapter, verse eighteen. And I'm not going to take too much more time. Y'all got the point, I think. Hopefully, right? Amen. <laughs> second Timothy two and eighteen. Who concerning the truth? Have error. You have messed up. You are in error. You are in. You're wrong concerning the truth of God. Go ahead. Saying that the resurrection is past already. People believe that the resurrection ain't past. <laughs> no, the rapture hasn't taken place. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read. Go ahead and finish reading. And overthrow the faith of some. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. It stands sure. That means it's the same foundation that God made in the beginning. The same word right here is still the same. It has not changed. It stands sure. Hallelujah. You can teach whatever you think you, you want to teach, but the word of God stands sure. God will cause your people to scatter. Hallelujah. They, and I pray they leave, they scatter, they go and find help, they go and find refuge, they go and find uh, uh, the word. Get away from all you false wolves, wolves in sheep clothing, out there trying to um, uh, get what you want or get uh, money trying to swindle the people of God. Oh, Lord. Do you not know you're going to be judged for this? Yes, yes. You cannot fight against the truth. It's going to bite you. Yes. Oh, glory to God. It's going to bite you. It's going to hurt, too. Amen. 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 <laughs> one more scripture. John, the one you were talking about, 17. John 17, 17. Sanctify thyself with the truth. Thy word is the truth. Sanctify yourself with the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. We baptize yourself in God's word. Get rid of all those doggone books you be reading that's not the truth of God. All these other, other people's ideas. <laughs> A lot of, a lot of, uh, I noticed that a lot of Christians, they get so messed up in people's ideas or in their uh, uh, thoughts and their, these uh, wild fables, the Bible says. Um, uh, these crazy opinions. Mm -hmm. 
Again, you you just going down a rabbit hole to looking for all kinds of. I mean, it's foolishness. Sanctify yourself in the truth. Yes. Get in the Bible. Know that you're all these things going on in the government and all that stuff. All these uh these these foolish things. Oh, the, the the world is going to end because Trump the president. They ain't the wise. But nobody really never said the world was going to end because Trump was, was the president. <laughs> he says the the world isn't going to end unless there'll be a great falling away first. Yeah. Which means you gotta put your Bible down and resent anything that God says. And then you're going to back away from God. Then the Bible also says that unless the word of God, the word of God travel all over the world, everybody will be able to understand and answer yes or no. Then the Bible says the end will come. Yes. Know the truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Know it. Sanctify yourself in the truth. He didn't say the newspaper was your truth. <laughs> he didn't say the news. He didn't say those little books you be reading. Those comic books that uh, Jehovah Witness give out. Those um, those uh, other books that those, what are they call Mormons give you. No, his word is true. I, it doesn't matter what... Uh, what school you go to, what church you go to, you need to get in his word for yourself. Amen. Amen. Don't just take my word for it. Yes. Go to the scripture. Don't take your uh, preacher's word for it. You go for yourself. Yes. <laughs> and I promise you, you're going to understand God's word. You're going to get more out of it. And then when you do come to the house of God, to hear God's word, you will be able to point out every cock and bull story that's not God's word. Amen. You'll be, be able to recognize what's true and what's false. Amen. What's right and what's wrong because you got in it yourself and you study. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for your people. We ask that you would open up uh, their understanding to your word. Yes, God. Give them what they need. Hallelujah. And I pray, oh God, that all these um, false teachers that's going around, teaching false uh, doctrine, I pray you will expose all of them. Yes, Lord Jesus. And let them, let the world see your word for what it is. Yes, Lord God. Holy. Yes, God. Righteous. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the pastor, we are supposed to speak the heart of God. And your heart is your word. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Anybody speaking anything other than your word, it's a false prophet, a false teacher. And God, I'm going to stand against them. I don't care. Let them come. Let them fight me. Come on. I got something for you. Spiritual and physical. In Jesus' name. Yes, Amen.